Knock, knock. You ever gonna stop working on this damn thing? Yeah, that calls my mind. I hear you. Sorry, my hands are dirty. Hey, it's all right. Good to see you, man. It's been about, what, a year? You look great. You're not very good at answering your phone, though, are you? Yeah, sorry. I hardly keep up that thing anymore. Hey, man, it, um, anytime you're ready, um, you're always welcome back at the forest. I hope you know that. Yeah, well, I know you didn't come all the way out here just to talk about the good old days. Well, in a way I did. I'm sure you heard by now that Darwin was killed last week. Yeah, I heard. I wish I could have met that person that did that. Yeah, I mean, the world's a better place without him, no doubt about it. The thing is, though, while we were inventorying his house, we actually found an item that was tied to a cold case from a few years earlier. Well, now that the killer's been identified, they can just close that case then. True, but the body was never found, and um, the family still wants to bring her back home. And with your extensive knowledge of Darwin, I thought maybe I could have you um, help us out and solve the cold case. Uh, I left the life behind. I'm still trying to bury it. Some days I still even want to eat a bullet. Now James, don't take this the wrong way because I think the world of you, and I, and I can't even begin to imagine what you've been through. But if you have the chance to help another family get closure, what would the girls want you to do? I hope you reconsider. Again, it was great seeing you. Good morning. Chris, I presume? Yes, sir. Hey, Detective Greg Banks. We spoke on the phone. Uh, yeah, good to meet you. Hey, this is my uh, colleague, Bill James. Um, he's our resident Darwin expert. Oh, you guys come on in. Hey, I appreciate it. Won't y'all have a seat? Oh. Hey, here's something I think you might want back.
Sorry, are, are you okay? You don't know how much this means. It means to me. I know this is gonna be difficult, but if you can, take me back to when she disappeared. Anything you can remember about that day that'll help us out. I mean, she, she was just a popular teenage girl. I mean, I mean, she would light up any room she walked into. She, uh, I mean, she wouldn't hurt a fly. And, you know, she went to school just like any ordinary day. And she just didn't come back. And about seven, I started calling her friends. I called the police. Of course, the police wanted me to wait 24 hours. But we just knew something wasn't right. Was she acting different at all around that time? Or maybe mentioned any arguments she's had at school? Did she have a boyfriend or maybe any type of relationship at all? Brian Stewart. That was her boyfriend at the time. And something never sat right with me with him. Was he ever a suspect? They questioned him several times, but he supposedly had an alibi um, working at his dad's shop. And they claimed they pulled the records and he had been working from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. What was it about him that you felt was so off? He was just real possessive of Gina. He never, like if, he, if she missed a phone call, then he would blow up. If she didn't text back fast enough, he would blow up. And I told her, I said, Gina, that's not the type of relationship I want you to be in. Is there anything else you, re you can recall from that day, Chris? Well, like I said, it got about 7 p.m. and we hadn't heard from her. She was supposed to come straight home after school. We'd already called all of her friends. The police wanted us to wait. Of course, I'm not sitting back waiting. So we went out looking for her. And about just a few blocks from here, we found her book bag and it had blood on it. And they did analysis on the blood and they said it seems she was taken sometime around 4 p.m. I'm not gonna make you any promises, Chris, but we're gonna look at all the evidence and see how Darwin ties into all this. My name is uh, Detective Greg Banks. This is my colleague, Bill James, and we're wondering if we can come in and ask you a few questions. Sure, come in. Appreciate it. Again, uh, we appreciate you taking the time this afternoon. How can I help? Uh, we're following up on the, the Gina Mitchell case from a few years ago. Um, some mm -hmm. new evidence came to light. And uh, we understand you two were dating at the time of her disappearance. Yes. That was tragic. Not a day goes by that I don't miss her. Can you walk us through the day of her disappearance, please? Sure. It was a normal day at school, and I had work at about five. So I came home for a quick bite to eat, and I went to work. Are there any other employees that could verify your whereabouts at that time? My dad owns a small cleaning store, so I'm often the only person in there. How would you describe your, your relationship with Gina? She was a great person. I was lucky to have spent so much time with her. Did you guys ever argue or fight? <laughs> no, never. Our friends called us the perfect couple because we got along so well. Why is that what someone told you? No, no, I'm um, just trying to gauge your, your relationship a little bit better. When was the last time you saw Gina then? After school. I thought I would stop by her house after work. And you said you started work at four, or did you say five? Four. Four. 
Is that all you needed? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, thanks, Brian. Um, again, appreciate the time this afternoon. Um, if you think of anything else, please give me a call. Uh, thanks again. Did your, uh, did your team move anything, or was everything left how it is now? Yeah, I mean, uh, we inventoried a couple things, but otherwise, everything you see here is exactly the way we found it. Just the, the placement of some of these pictures is a little odd. Or Darwin being a perfectionist and all, he seems a little OCD and that would drive me crazy. Where'd you say they found that ring at? Really, the ring was in this box here on the coffee table. Even that seems a little misplaced. Yeah, I mean, we thought the, we thought the same thing, so. Did you want to go through the rest of that uh, list for the interviews? Let's just call it a hunch. We were actually here just a couple of years ago. I was going through the file last night, and a, a few of these pictures reminded me of this place. That's right. There was a 12-year-old female Vic. That's right. It's one of Darwin's, wasn't it? Yeah, let's check it out. Take this way, you take that way, we'll circle around and meet up back. All right. James, over here. Hey, uh, any luck? Actually, uh, right here. I saw this picture right around that corner, and also, check it out. Damn, tank's right there. Have you seen this one yet? 
I, I, I could have swore I walked right by that one back there on the other side. Let's go. Check it out right there. There's a the sad face. Yeah, that's it. Yep. What do you think it means? You know what? Do me a favor. Can you pull up a satellite image of this exact location right now? Yeah, hold on. Why did Brian Stewart have a picture of this building on his wall? Why did Darwin pick this location to decorate his house? What is the connection between Darwin and Brian Stewart? Is this a map to the body? Okay, let's go. Smell that? Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Found her. I'll call it in. Raymond, hey, I need a forensic team. 1929 McAdams Road. Yeah, we got a body. All right, let's go pay Brian Stewart a little visit. Let me get all the dispatch real quick. Hey Raymond, hey Banks here. We are Brian Stewart's location. He is not here. Can you triangulate his location based on the GPS of his cell phone? All right, as soon as you get it, send it to me. Thanks, man. Are you ready? Let's go. Exactly. 
It should be in one of these two buildings. Okay, you check this one, I'll get the one in the back. All right. Brian, you in here? Drop the gun. Drop the gun! So you finally figured it out. I so see you found my little box of goodies. It's over, Brian. How? With what proof? Come on, Billy boy, you're smarter than that. My dad talks about you like you were 10 feet tall. How does it feel knowing my dad took your mom and your fiance and there wasn't anything you could do about it? Just know, this is nothing personal. I just need to finish what Darwin couldn't. I think there's one thing you should know. Yes. Your last words. I'm going to kill you the same way I killed Darwin. You didn't kill. building back there.